Hey, what's up, YouTube? Is it April 1st yet? Alright, looking at the title of this video, you're probably thinking, well, I've heard a lot about this little worm thing that we've been that's going around, this conficker worm. It's gonna be bad. Yeah. Anyway, this worm is supposed to be um, infecting other computers, spreading by USB ports, by email attachments, just like any other virus would normally spread. But this virus is different because it's laying dormant inside your computer and it's not going to be activated and actually wreak havoc on your PC, and yes, only PCs, until a certain date when it decides to be activated. Now, we're recording this video on March 31st. We all know tomorrow is April 1st, April Fool's Day. So there's tons of rumors going around saying it's going to be activated tomorrow, April Fool's Day. Your computer's going to die on April Fool's Day. Like, why would someone do that? Why would you? <laughs> Come on, man. There's people saying, don't go on the internet on April 1st, don't download anything April 1st, don't plug in a flash drive on April 1st, because your computer gonna die. But maybe I'm the only one who's not skeptical, because I guess I'm not the only one who's completely terrified of this virus. I mean, I, uh, come on. People have been telling people it's going to disable your firewalls, it's going to be uh, intruding your computer and disabling certain Windows updates and patches and stuff like that, and your computer won't be working at 100%. However, if you turn auto run off, hopefully USB devices won't be able to infect your computer by automatically running everything on that flash drive. So if you do have a 32 gig flash drive, you don't want to be plugging this in on autoplay because a lot of things could be on here that could be uh, putting your computer at risk. What I suggest is to turn off autoplay, which is basically um, if you go into Windows Vista and uh, go into your start menu and type in autoplay, you can actually um, hit enter and disable autoplay on USB devices, CDs, etc. If you really need a tutorial on that, I can do it, but I mean, come on, autoplay. So yeah, Microsoft is advising all Windows users to download the latest patches, which again are available at the link in the description. But basically, you're not going to know if you're infected yet unless you turn on your computer on April 1st and find that things aren't working properly. Microsoft says it's already infected more than 20 million PCs. Just PCs. Well, what we've heard, and I've put the link in the description of this video, I've Dang it. Yeah, I never know where the description box is. You know where the description is. I put the link in the description is... I did it again. I put the link in the description. You know what the description is. Um, of About a whole bunch of information about this virus, and I'll pull it up now. It's just basically talking about how it can it can access your computer, and it's, it's not actually active yet, but it's dormant, laying in your computer, waiting to be activated. Man, I hate April Fool's Day anyway. Oh yeah, and one last thing, Microsoft is offering $250,000 to anyone who can give any hints and turn in the person whose main hub of computers is actually running this virus. Maybe it is in an April Fool's joke. Anyway, if you're a PC user, watch out. Your computer is going to be at risk on April 1st and April 2nd and April 3rd. But I, all in all, I suggest you update your antivirus software, you disable autoplay, and you use real caution to what you download and what you actually click on when you're on the internet for these next couple weeks. So um, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was informative, entertaining, helpful, whatever it needs to be. And um, thanks for watching this video. So um, peace.